All right, Shalom, Shalom. Let's start off by giving all the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Why are you prophesying to you so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Letting you know you are the people of the Holy Bible, the history, the archaeology, the knowledge an understanding that has been hidden for over 2,000 years is now being made manifest as it says in the Holy Bible. You have the remnant of the Israelites which will wake up and expose the works of the wicked of the earth. Started with so-called white man, his name is Esau. According to the Holy Bible, Genesis 25 and 25 says, he came out all red like a hairy garment. This is the twin brother of a man named Jacob, which is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, which are today, in these latter days, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You have the tribe of Judah, so-called African Americans, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, which are the so-called Haitians, the tribe of Simeon, which are the so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, from Guatemala to Panama, the tribe of Ephraim, which are the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manasseh, which are the so-called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, North American Indians, the tribe of Reuben, the Seminole Indians, the tribe of Naphtali, Argentina to Chile, the tribe of Asher, from Colombia to Uruguay, and the tribe of Escar, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Why are you prophesying the things written in the Holy Bible, which will come to pass according to what the Holy Prophet saw since the days of old, the coming of the RFID chip, which is coming to America throughout the whole earth, which is the mark of the beast, which is so-called white man, will attempt to brand pe human beings like cattle. Why? Because the Edomite, which is Esau, which is a so-called white man, he knows that his people are not multiplying like they should and the, the, the dark nations, all melanated nations of the earth, he knows that they are increasing more than his people. So his plan is to what? Implement a mark, a RFID chip to track and, 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 and give you a social score, to track your carbon footprint, to track every single thing you do, buy, sell, which is coming, but the most High God said, that in the last days, the end of the world, meaning the end of one rulership, the beginning of another, which is for the Israelites, that the so-called white man would attempt his last uh, attempt to take control of the earth once again, like he has done time and time again, rape, robbing, and murdering throughout the whole earth. You have what? This, this goddamn devil went into Africa, chopped off one of African kids' heads. He went to Japan and he dropped an atomic bomb and melted little Japanese girl's ears off. This man is the devil as the Bible speaks of. And the Bible says that he's the father of lies. So we're right here letting you know that these things are written in the Holy Bible. They're coming to pass in these days. And you will see the RFID chip implemented throughout the whole earth. World War III is coming to planet Earth. Martial law is coming to America. Babylon the Great. FEMA camps are coming to America. These things are in the Holy Bible. So why here letting our people know, repent, and seek the most high God, why he's still making found. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, his name is Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, not Jehovah, not God, his name is Yahweh. By Hashem means in the ancient Hebrew, in the name. Not like the so called Jewish, they say his name Hashem. It's by Hashem, Yahweh, in the name, Yahweh Shai, Amashayak, who you call Jesus Christ. Not white Jesus, not Jesus Christ, which is a Roman, which is a Greek. He was a Hebrew, he was an Israelite, like Paul the Apostle. So why are you letting our people know their nationality, their custom, 
their heritage is all in the Bible. And the prophecies will come to pass in these latter days, whether you like it, believe it or not. Ezekiel chapter 37, 38 is happening as we speak. Russia, China, Iran, which is known as Gog and Magog, they're already what? Mobilizing towards World War III. So these things will come to pass, thus saith the Holy Bible. So you're going to have the remnant of our people wake up to who they are. Wake up to who your enemy is, which are these other nations. The Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, all these people have their heritage, have their language, have their history. But we, the so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, did not have our customs. Why? Because the Holy Bible says that they will be taken away. But guess what? The remnant of the Israelites are waking up. We're declaring the prophecies of the Holy Bible, which is what? Armageddon, World War III, martial law, FEMA camps. The Most High God said what? There will be scoffers in the last days. But we do not give a damn. Why are you telling you thus saying the Holy Bible? Whether you like it, believe it or not, two-thirds of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans will take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, and die during World War III by thermonuclear fire. <clears throat> like it says in the Holy Bible, Russia, China, Iran, these countries will turn on America and shoot ICBM missiles to it. Which is why in the book of Revelation, America Babylon Great is known as the Lake of Fire. That's why we want our people to repent as Israelites. Seek the prophecies of the Holy Bible. Seek the Most High God while he still may be found, which is through his word. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Catholicism, the so-called white man's 
pours nothing but lies on our people. We are Israelites. We are the people of the book. We do have the priesthood, the promises, which was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the children of the prophets. We are the ones to whom was given the kingdom of heaven, which is coming after this goddamn devil gets destroyed. And you are the nations as well. And you will serve the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. We're not going to treat you like this goddamn cracker. We're going to teach you the laws of the Holy Bible, which promote order. You have civil laws. You have dietary laws. You have laws concerning fornication, idolatry. So the scriptures say what? That we will be for the healing of the nations. The planet Earth will be restored back to its former order, which is the Garden of Eden. The world will flourish under us, but first you gotta have destruction. Scriptures say that the, the, the mountains will be melted with the blood of men during World War III. The righteous will scarcely be saved, meaning those that are faithful to his word, we're barely going to make it. But the most that God is going to send is only begotten son, Mashiach, Yahamushai, to deliver a remnant of his people. Via the UFOs, so-called UFOs, that you read about in the Holy Bible, which are the holy angels, which will return in the second coming of who you call Jesus Christ, Yahamushai, a Mashiach, a so-called black man, from the tribe of Judah, the blood of Christ, which is the so-called African Americans. These are our people, the so-called Hispanics, Native Americans. Countless, countless slaughter in the name of the so-called white man, in the name of colonialism. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. The Hebrew word for man is hello. So they praise in themselves, you are the nations that are not of the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So you will have some Israelites that look like so-called white, Japanese, Chinese, because we're mixed amongst the nations. But you other nations do not have a part in this because you've already been exalted on this side. But the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, like it says Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, says what? We will serve our enemies. We will be oppressed, robbed, spoiled, So there's a remnant of waking up. Your nations are upset because your time is up. You're upset because your plans are failing. America is failing. The so-called white man is pushing towards this central bank digital currency, which will lead to the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. He's going to attempt to brand people like cattle. So the scriptures say, we see all these things, your salvation is drawing nigh. A remnant of our people, that is, the majority have been deceived by the serpent, which is the uh, spiritual demon Satan, which works with the so-called white man, which is why he's able to manipulate the DNAs of humans, manipulate the crops, artificial food pollute this, this, this man pollutes the air promotes nothing but confusion so it says 
Jeremiah 51 to 7, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. They made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the remnant of Israel, and such are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon head that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. Isaiah 10, 22. But though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. For the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land. The things that will come to pass 
In these latter days. Second Peter chapter three, verse three. Knowing this first, that there shall come the last days, scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as it were from the beginning of the creation. And the majority of our people do not give a damn, nor do they care to know who they are. Which is why our people are stuck in the ways of the so-called white man, his uh, Christianity, Catholicism, which is idolatry, falsehood, right in one of our people with the 100% truth. Destruction is coming to America. Martial law is coming to America. FEMA camps is coming to America. Babylon the Great. The RFID chip being the mark of the beast is coming. Yahweh Shai, Amal Shaya, when you call Jesus Christ, he said, I saw Satan like lightning falling down from heaven. This is how fast America is going to fall. In the midst of World War III, scriptures say that the Most High God is going to throw down this wicked, bloody country in one hour. Second Peter, chapter three, verse five. For this, it will be are ignorant that by the word of God, the heavens of all, the earth standing out of the water, into the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed, the water perished. So you have in the Holy Bible, the first step, which is when the Lord flooded the earth with water. And in the book of Revelations, it speaks about those that will receive the second death, which is a lake of fire, which is a similar to the American Babylonian break, being destroyed by ICBM missiles. You read about that throughout the whole book. Second Peter chapter three, verse six. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 7. With the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, again, the judgment, perdition, without ungodly men. That is talking about the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American. You will hear, like it says in the Holy Bible, that the gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole earth, like it says in the book of Matthew, and then the end will come. So all you Israelites will hear and will be warned before the great destruction, the day of the Lord's wrath. Second Peter chapter three, verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant 
there's one thing that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The son man count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Second Peter 3 and 10, for the day of Yahweh will come, will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are in, therein shall be burnt up. Jeremiah 51, 24, and I will render to Babylon to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all the evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saying, The Lord, behold, I am against thee, O destroyed mountain, saith the Lord, which destroys all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and rule thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. Jeremiah 51, 36. Therefore, thus say the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause, take vengeance for thee. I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. So you have the signs of the coming of who you call Jesus Christ, the Mashiach, Yahushai, the great river Euphrates drying up, the great lakes. The, 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 the uh, reservoirs in America drying up, in China, reservoirs drying up. Jeremiah 51, 37. And Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons, an astonishment, and an hissing without an inhabitant. They shall roar together like lions. They shall yell as lions whelp. In their heat, I will make their feast, and I will make them drunken, that they may rejoice and sleep in perpetual sleep, and not wake, say the Lord. That is talking about the ICBM missiles, which will be shot by nations like Russia, China, Iran. First, you got to have the coming of the Rapunzel chip, martial law, FIFA camps. So we are here calling back the remnant of our people, of the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. So it says in Isaiah chapter 10 that a remnant will return. Two thirds will be destroyed by the elements melting the fervent heat that destroys mountain that destroys the earth. In Jeremiah 51, is that same uh, uh, 